Hey everyone, Matt Lock here, LockOnAir.com. I want to talk for a sec about HTML5 wrapped apps. What does that mean? Well, there's a lot of technologies out there, uh, PhoneGap being one of them, recently acquired by Adobe, that are wrapping up HTML5 technologies, JavaScript, CSS, and new HTML5 features, and also providing hooks into uh, a mobile phone's sort of native API, like the camera and the contacts. And what they're doing is they're wrapping that up in a special WebKit container and then allowing that to be installed on devices as if it was a native application. That's really exciting in terms of sort of uh, hitting multiple platforms from a single code base and leveraging code that develop, a lot of developers already know, like HTML5 and uh, JavaScript. But uh, the drawbacks are in performance in terms of graphics and heavy computation. Another alternative to a situation like this where you want to hit multiple platforms from a single code base is, of course, the Adobe Air platform. Um, it actually provides a little bit more performance in terms of graphics, and uh, we've seen some real-time games that are running really smooth and fluidly on mobile devices. And um, it kind of offers a little bit more in terms of uh, heavy computation and, and makes it feel a little bit more like a real native app. So uh, there's pros and cons to both approaches. Obviously, you'd have to learn ActionScript with the Adobe Air platform, but uh, if you just have a simple app that doesn't require a lot of heavy graphics or computation, you can, of course, leverage uh, existing technologies that you know, like HTML5 stuff and uh, JavaScript.